most important thing for you to understand if you love hats as much as I do is whether or not your head needs a special fit. So most people that don't like hats, I find perhaps they've never found one that fits correctly. So that can happen if your head is on the smaller side of average or your head is on the larger side of average. And for the industry that I'm in, the average is actually 22 and a half inches for a female and 23 and a half inches for a male. And I can tell you from 36 years in business that probably more than half of the clients that I have don't fit in that range. So one of the nice things for me being a, a local maker in Canada is that I can actually adjust the sizes while I'm cutting out a hat for you and make it fit. But first of all, I need to correctly know what your head size is or your hat size. Now, a hat size is different from a head size. A hat size is actually that number in inches divided by pi, which is 3.14. And that will give you a number like seven and a quarter, seven and three eighths, seven and a half. And that's actually the hat size. So bear with me, just give me a minute. We're going to actually teach you how to measure your head. And if you have somebody at home that can help you with this, that will give me the best measurement and the most accurate measurement. All right, be right back. So the single tool that we need to make a good head size measurement is a sewing measuring tape. So a plastic or a cloth measuring tape that's soft and will easily go around your head. Now, if you don't have one of these in your collection of things, then um, see if you can find a piece of rope or string that doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. This has a bit of stretch, so I would have to be careful if I use this to make sure that I don't pull it um, and then mark the spot where the two parts join going around my head um, properly. So it's, I mean, if you don't have a measuring tape, this will do. And then just use one of a, like a hard ruler or one of those construction measuring tapes to give yourself the actual number of inches around your head. All right. So um, just another note about head size. So I mentioned earlier about a lot of my clients have uh, head sizes that don't fit in the average range. So I would say that half of that group of people, I would have women that have a 23 and a half inch head and 13 inches ear to ear. And then another 25% of that half would be women that have a 21 and a half inch head and maybe 11 or 11 and a half inches ear to ear. That's Those two are such common um, hat, head sizes for me that I've actually drafted quite a few of my hat patterns uh, in, in like a hard copy of the pattern. I don't have to manually grade my pattern because I do those so often. So don't be surprised if your measurement is not 12 ear to ear or is not 22 and a half inches around your head because those um, you're in good company. All right, so let's get started. I'll go get Adrian. All right, folks, Adrian has joined me here, my official head measurer and partner in crime. Say hi, Adrian. <laughs> All right, so he's going to demonstrate how to take a proper measurement of your head. I suggest that you do this about three times because where you really want to find that great sweet spot as far as wearing a hat is concerned is at the the part of your head that's the largest circumference because if you give me a measurement that's maybe above where the optimal place is to wear a hat or say some people have actually given me head measurements that incorporate a bun in their hair which you know really it doesn't help much either but say you give me that correct measurement the widest part above your ears and above your eyebrows then you're not going to have a, a head that sort of or a hat sorry that pops off your head if it's a windy day it's going to feel like it fits so you're going to measure where you feel you want your hat to end not the brim part but the band that's in between so adrian's going around my head and it's just above the ears and i'm going to adjust the tape measure when he's finished so that i feel that it's in the spot that's the most comfortable. That's why it's handy to have somebody help you with this. Okay, so I'm going to look here and I'm gonna just pull this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn my head so you can see where it is. 
All right. And so, Adrian, you can do the honors and tell us what that comes out to. That says 22 and a half. All right. So that's the average size for a woman's head. Now he's going to do the second measurement, which is ear to ear. That <clears throat> determines how deep the hat is. So, for example, uh, if you had a really large head, you might need this part of the hat to be longer just to hit that area that we just measured with the first measurement. So the average is 12 inches and he's going to do going from the top of my ear to the top of the other. And I tell customers usually that that means like where the traditional plastic hairband sits on your head. 12 inches. 12 inches. Perfectly perfect in every way, right, dear? Yes, dear. <laughs> I can. I'll just quickly measure Adrian's head now, um, just to show the difference between the average woman and an average man. What do you want to bet your average? Now you're gonna have to take off your hat, and I'm gonna go right there, right there, and look at that. Does that feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that I have to, yeah. you have to move it? Nope. Okay, so Adrian is 23 and a half. If I can move that there, he could. If I pull it tight, I can get him to be a little bit smaller. So he's in between 23 and a half and 23 and a quarter, but he likes to have a loose hat. He doesn't like tight hats. I don't really think anybody likes tight hats. So he's. In the average range for a man there, because men generally have another inch of head size than we females. I don't know why. More brains. I think it's more hot air. Okay, so Adrian's actually um, on the smaller side, ear to ear, because the average man is 13, and he joins me in the 12 club. So Adrian doesn't need a deep bin. He needs one that's a little bit shallower. I think that's why you like this kind of hat so much. Now this is what your head size looks like when it's translated into a wooden head shape or a wooden block as we call it in the hat industry. This one here is actually a 24 inch head. And you'll find that um, the head sizes are usually clearly marked on the bottom of a block or on the back of a block. But these tools are invaluable for me because if you had a 24 inch head and I was going to grade my pattern to make it fit your head, I would want to make sure after I finished that it fit this block, which is almost as good as having you right here in my studio with me. So this one is the average men's size. So this is 23 and a half inches. And I cover them with plastic just because I use a lot of steam, so I like to protect the um, the wood. This is actually my number one star in my studio. This is the 22 and a half inch head block, and I use this one a lot with every single hat. Um, for this style of hat that we make in the summer, it's very handy because I can put the tie and toggle on the back of the hat and then make sure that everything is perfect before it gets shipped out the door. Now, on the smaller side, here is my 21 and a half inch block. So you can see um, that this one is an antique and there is the head size on the back stamped into the wood. And I'm sure that if you wanted to get yourself a head block that matches your own head size, that you'd be able to find that on eBay. Um, I buy my new blocks from a company in the United States called Judith M. She also helps me with raffia. Um, and, but most head blocks are on eBay. Um, you can get them on Etsy as well. Now, if you're watching this video because you're interested in maybe learning more about hats, perhaps hat making, uh, maybe starting a hat business, then you've just watched the first lesson in Hats 101. So the next step now is to take those head measurements and draft a pattern. So we will pursue pattern making in the next video. And this is actually a pattern that I've drafted for a headband. And that's based on a 22 and a half inch head. I use this pattern as a foundation for all of my headband designs that are available on my website. And as you can see on the other side, 
I've made lots and lots of notes. So um, I'll adjust the length of this depending on the fabric that I use. Um, sometimes if I come up with a different modification for the design, I'll add a little note. Um, but this is what we're going to do next. So if you're interested in joining me on this hat making journey, uh, like and subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when the pattern for our headband project is uploaded. Thank you so much and um, happy hat making! <laughs>